hello beautiful people welcome back to the channel hope everyone is doing well hope you're having a fantastic day Igbe here i am back with new remote job leads i have quite some leads for you guys today we have opportunities with marriott which is a data entry role there's a total of about six to seven opportunities within this video so let's just dive right in the first opportunity is with Marriott. So it is a data entry clerk role and Marriott is looking for data entry clerks right now. As you can see on here, it's a fully remote opportunity. It is full time. One of the things I do want to quickly call out is that there's no education requirement with Marriott. So you can go ahead and submit your application without worrying about that. What they care more about your skill set, what type of experience are you bringing to the table? And with data entry, there's not a whole lot of requirement with it. Um, with Marriott, they just want to know that you can actually adhere to the rules and regulations that have been set in place as an organization. Organization. They want to make sure that you have good communication skills because that's important, right? And they want to also make sure that you have good phone etiquette. So when you speak to people internally, they want to make sure that you sort of manage those type of conversations. They also want to make sure you can build good relationship with other people. You are somebody that would look through process and look for opportunities for improvement and also follow company set policies and procedures. That's really all they're asking for with Marriott. And from reading the job summary, it looks to me that they do provide you with equipment because they're talking about being able to utilize company's computer, being able to operate standard office equipment other than computers such as phone, typewriter, fax, photocopier, calculator, electronic peripherals. So likely they do provide you with equipment. That should be a question you should ask as you go through the different stages of the interview process. So definitely go ahead and submit your application. We are accepting applications right now. The salary for this role for California applicants, the range is 18 to $25 and 50 cents. If you live in Colorado, it's $18 per hour. New York and Washington are the same as California. So Washington applicants is slightly different in terms of how they accrue PTO, but overall the salary range are pretty the same. So keep that in mind as you submit your applications, depending on where you reside, that would determine where you fall within the bracket. So that is it for Marriott. We're going to move on to the next opportunity. The next role we're going to be reviewing is with Paycor. So I've done videos in the past with Paycor. So Paycor is looking for a balance entry specialist. This is also a data entry role. And with this opportunity, you are going to be ensuring the accuracy of different information that have been gathered, documentation within different systems, especially historical information that pertains to different clients that they manage manage and you're just going to be ensuring that those information are accurate. You are also going to be extracting data from different systems and you're going to be transferring that data into other databases or creating customized reports from those extracted data. You are also going to be helping to troubleshoot any type of issues that may result from those processes, communicating those results with leadership to ensure that you are carrying everybody along. So this is really focusing primarily on data. So data manipulation, data extraction skill set will come into play here. If you are interested in a no phone type of role, this will be the opportunity as long as you come with those type of skill set where you can manipulate, extract, and definitely create and report. What are the requirements for this role? You must be eligible to work in the U.S. Four-year degree is required for this or equivalent education on work experience preferred. So if you have a four-year degree or an equivalent education and work experience, they want you to highlight that. For example, a four-year degree will equate to having an associate's degree, for example, which is two years. So that would be two years. And then you have maybe an additional two to three years experience that would account for the four-year degree requirement. It will help fulfill that. So they're also talking about knowledge of revenue, like local, federal, as well as state. So kind of having those type of understanding, but that's a preference. They talk about experience with VLOOKUP, 
pivot tables or that's also a preference but if you have that experience call it out on your resume they talk about all the skills like strong interpersonal verbal written communication skills and so forth and for this particular role, the salary range for balance entry specialist is about $78,000. That is the median salary. And for a regular payer specialist, it's about $57,000 per year. So between $57,000 and $78,000 on an hourly basis, that range would probably fall between $25 and $30 per hour. So just keep that in mind. That is the salary. So the next opportunity we're going to be talking about is with one source virtual and they're looking for a payroll specialist level one. So you're going to kind of be a point on the front end side of things and be able to triage issues over to a level two and higher, or even a manager. You're going to be managing and responding to different cases on a daily basis, ensuring that clients needs are being met. You are going to be working very closely with production to ensure quality and production metrics, scorecards, working with peers to resolve issues, kind of escalating issues that cannot be resolved at your level and so forth. Yeah, looking for you to have an associate's degree or higher degree is preferred. But if you don't have that, three plus years of payroll experience is what they are also looking for, troubleshooting, end-to-end processing. They are looking for that. One year experience with taxes, one year experience with garnishments, advanced proficiency with Microsoft Office, Excel, Word, and so forth. And with this opportunity, the salary range is between $48,000 and $59,000 per year. Again, between $48,000 and $59,000 per year. So even though this is a level one opportunity, they do require you to have quite some experience. So if you are looking for a job in payroll, this would be the opportunity for you. I would still say apply because they are asking for education as a preference. So if you have that education requirement, I still encourage you to submit your application because that is going to only count as a plus for you. So you just never know. All right. So the next opportunity we are going to be discussing is with one call. One call is looking for a credentialing coordinator level one. Again, credentialing coordinator level one. This opportunity is going to pay between $17.75 and $26.70 per hour. With this opportunity, it comes with a a variety of benefit. You are going to be having generous pay time off. You get eight holidays, floating holidays, and so forth. They do have tuition reimbursement as well. They have college assistance programs, which can easily be extended to kids as well, to your children, should you decide to go for this opportunity and get hired you're going to be ensuring that initial credentialing as well as credentialing of applications are complete. You are going to be making sure you're maintaining and ensuring that the status of different providers are current in their system and then monitoring that way to make sure that nothing falls through the cracks. Anything that needs to be approved, that needs to be denied are being done as quickly as possible and as accurately as possible. The next opportunity is with Unitech. So Unitech is looking for a remote operations support coordinator. And this position is also a data entry role because you are going to be focusing primarily on data. You're going to be focusing on member or customer records. You're going to be ensuring that those records are being reflected in different databases and systems accurately and so forth. They are looking for you to be experiencing data entry as well as the call center type of setting and they're looking for you to have flexibility communication skills attention to detail improved typing skills so really focusing on skill set versus anything else there will be a training with this opportunity so you will be trained and they will be testing you to make sure that you've retained what you were trained on so they want to make sure that you actually were following the training and if there are any questions they want to try and resolve them as quickly as possible before the official start time.
if you are interested in any of these opportunities give this video a thumbs up subscribe to this channel if you've not subscribed already and turn your notification bell on so you get notified when i do post new videos i want to thank you guys so much if you have any questions please feel free to come back leave it in the comment section again thank you guys so much for watching till next time best of luck to you as you apply take care guys bye bye